Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup collection video and I thought I'd do it kind of like a vlog so that's why you can't see me normally I'll turn this way a bit because the reflection of my glasses is really in by the way I do wear glasses <laughs> sometimes I don't wear my glasses because of when I'm doing makeup videos but yeah, I don't know why I'm out of breath all of a sudden I'm really unfit Anyway, so I thought I'd just intro like this because I want to. I really want to do vlogs, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so give the there. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you want more like this, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this if you like me as well, and also hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post a video. <laughs> I'm really out of the blue today. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So this is my makeup collection. It's on the edge of my desk. This is the rest of my desk, I don't think. <laughs> it's a bit messy, but yeah. So this is all my makeup. My makeup brushes, makeup, makeup. And yeah, I'll go through each part and yeah. <laughs> So let's do makeup brushes first. Now this holder is actually from a candle I got from Home Bargains. Because I used up the candle, it was a vanilla one, and I, I love vanilla scented candles. And so I used that and then I decided, oh, I could just use this to put my makeup brushes in. And it's really pretty and I really like it, so yeah. <laughs> so I got all these brushes. Most of them are from my Rio set from Argos, and this is what the Rio set looks like. So I've got this logo. Oh, why won't it bloody focus? It's not focusing, but yeah, <laughs> you can get it from Argos. And I got quite a few um, eyeshadow brushes from there. And I've got this big fluffy um, fan brush, my little fan, little fan brush. <laughs> and this brush is from, where is it from? Soap and Glory. It was from a set I got um, for, for, for Christmas. And yeah, I got this brush as well. I got a few brushes like these. Um, got a few brushes like this. This is from number seven. My mum gave me these when I started off using makeup, which really helped. Yeah, there's also another brush like this for foundation, I think. But I, I use that for applying masks. That's in my other drawer. <laughs> and also I got this one. This is from Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution is one of my favourite drugstore brands. And I've used this for foundation before, but doesn't really work for foundation, I was just seeing if it worked. But um, I do use this for cream contour, which is really good for that. And yeah, that's my um, makeup brush set. Yeah, I'll say which ones I use most of the time. I use this fluffy brush, this um, blusher brush, this fan brush, um, this uh, foundation brush. Sometimes I use this um, eyebrow brush and I use this big fluffy brush quite a lot to do my eyeshadow and this bronzer slash contour brush. Yeah, that's all my makeup brushes. So now we're going to move on to this little thing of makeup <laughs> and I'll start off from the top and then go into the drawers. So behind here we have my cream blusher from Bourjois, which is really nice. Now I'm going to go for a natural makeup look. And I got this set from Sugar Baby Vita Restaurant. You could just look at it, I'm not going to read it all right. <laughs> so this one's a um, lip balm and this one's a sugar scrub. 
the lip scrub. I use the balm more, but I do use this as well. And it tastes really nice. I know you shouldn't like eat it, but <laughs> I do that anyway after I use it. <laughs> and they're really good. I've had them for quite a while, so they last quite long. And I got this mascara from Soap and Glory, the freaking fast one. And I absolutely love this mascara. It makes my eyelashes look so nice. So yeah. Now these are my eyebrow products. I got this one from... Where did I get this from? Revlon. Wow, it's from Revlon. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's from Revlon. Yeah, it's got a gel and then a pencil, but the pencil's not very nice, to be honest. But the gel is really good um, for when I want to do a natural makeup look. I just put this all over my brows and then I'm done. And then I got this one, which is one of my favourites right now. It's my L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Expert. With the brush on one end and the like product on the other end. And also this Maybelline... New York brow satin. It's really good. I've used um, this eyebrow product and this one in two videos I've done so far. It's not focusing. Oh good, there we are. Good enough. <laughs> and then I have this Maybelline New York brow drama. Um, in dark blonde. That's in dark blonde as well and that's in cool blonde I think. This is also in a blonde. <laughs> Because I'm blonde, that kind of makes sense. And I got this brow gel, which is really nice. So now I got this Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair One. And this is a great concealer. Everyone raves about this, so yeah. And I also got a little um, sharpener in there. Doesn't really matter what the that's from. And I also got this Maybelline New York Master Strobe in Liquid. I don't use this very often, but it is really... It is... Bleh. I can't talk today. It's a really nice highlight, liquid highlight. So yeah. And then there's another sharpener. And I got this beauty blender from Superdrug. It's not very good. It's not like the real techniques where it goes big and then goes really soft. Because you can see how soft that is and this is like really hard. Sometimes I use it to bake, which is really good for that. And then obviously I have my... Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and my trusty Revlon Colour Stay combination to oily skin in the colour buff. And I'm literally running out of this and I need to get a new one because it's really expensive and <laughs> I don't want to buy a new one. But it has lasted quite long. And then I have my Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Powder. This is really good for oily skin if you have oily skin. So now I just took out the top drawer because I didn't want to like drop it or anything. So I got this um, strobing highlighter from Revolution, which is really good for a natural highlight. And then I got this Maybelline New York Matte Maker, which is really good for travelling, which is why I got that for travelling. And then I got this sample of um, the Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting thing <laughs> from Kevin Kwan. I think I said that right. I tried a bit before, but it's not like a blinding highlight. I think it would be good to like mix into foundation. I had this as a sample from a thing I bought from Beauty Bay, I think, or something. I think it was Beauty Bay or something, but yeah. And I also got this Glow All Out Soap and Glory highlighter. This is one of my favourite highlighters ever. It's like a pinky toned one. Even though like my skin's like yellow toned, it still looks great on me. <laughs> But I love this. So now I took the bottom drawer out and this is my blusher thing. Blusher drawer. <laughs> this is my bourgeois matte blusher, which is really nice. And it's got like a little mirror in it. Ooh, let me zoom in. You can see that. It looks really nice. It's good for pale skin because it's not very pigmented. And then I got this Revolution one. And this is a great one. I'm trying to open it with one hand here. There we go. This is great. Like, look at how many there are. There's literally like eight. And this is more like a highlight, like crazy highlight if you want. This is a shimmery blush and then the rest of the blushes. These are good for deeper skin tones, these ones. And it's got a huge mirror, which is great. And you can like see my legs there. <laughs> and yeah, 
This is great. I love the mirror, especially for travelling. So next is this big one. I just moved it to the front so it won't be hard to do it. Now I'm going to start from the top and then to the bottom. So at the back here we have the visibly clear, correct and perfect CC cream, which is great for um, uh, acne prone skin. It's not full coverage, it's like a really light coverage, like a BB cream. And it doesn't really last that long, but I think it'll be really good for helping with spots if you're having a really bad day and can't even look like, you know, yeah. <laughs> And now this part is where all the eyeliners and eye stuff is. This is my Super Cat Soap and Glory eyeliner. And then I got this one from Essence, the waterproof eyeliner. This is actually really good. It's really cheap. I like Essence. I really like Essence. Most of their products. And then I have this really nice Glam Chris crystals yeah from collection it's a glitter eyeliner and someday i'll find a purpose of using this <laughs> and then i have this um pencil eyeliner from mua which i don't use much to be honest and it has a sharpener as a lid which is probably the reason why i got it to be honest and i also got my eyelash colors in there i don't really want to see them because they're quite dirty <laughs> i also got some fake lashes individual ones from Eyelure, I think that's how you say it. Yeah. Now this part is where all my primers are and setting set in stuff. <laughs> this is my Revolution Pro Fix for oil control fixing spray. And it was new anyway when I got it. It's not much left, but this is quite good for oily skin. Oh yeah, something now. This is my Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. This is really good. It has like a really nice um, mist to it, like I'll show you now. That's really good. So yeah. So I just took out the rest of the primers because I don't want to drop them or anything. This will be the same story for everything if I take it out. So this is my unique Glorious Face and Eye Makeup Primer. Now this is really expensive. I got this in a kit, like um, with foundation, eyeshadow and a concealer and it all cost £70 together. And this is probably like £50 probably because this is like a really expensive makeup brand. I haven't used this in a while, I might like try it out again. It's really nice and smooth and it's like silicone-y. So yeah. And then I got this one which I've been using recently. My Rimmel London Fixing Perfect Pro Multi Action. This is great for mattifying and smoothing. It does smooth really nicely and it's really nice and moisturising. So yeah. And then I got this one which is my favourite of all primers. MUA Skin Define Hydro Primer. This is really nice. It's like a jelly. I'll like show you the inside. I'll show you the inside. I thought you might like to look at the inside. It's like this weird like jelly kind of stuff and it's so weird by the way that's just like eyeliner on my hand there and it's like oh it's so weird it's like really nice and cooling as well so yeah so now we're on to the lip product here oh i forgot to mention this eyelid lash glue i got as well anyway this is my kate rimmel london lipstick number 45 and i got this PS Super Matte Liquid Lipstick. This isn't very good to be honest. It doesn't. It looks. It's like looks really dry and like exaggerates the line in the lips. But I do like the colour. So yeah. I also got this Sleek Matte Me Liquid Lipstick, lip cream. This doesn't really last very long, but it is a really nice deep mauvey kind of colour for autumn. And I also got this Barry M um, Green Lipstick which turns pink when you put it on your lips. It gives a green, like, bright pink, like the lid. And I just had to get it because it really mesmerised me. <laughs> I got this lip gloss. I don't know where this is from. My sister got it, gave it to me, because it was, I think it was one of hers. But I don't know where it's from, but it has, like, pinky um, lip gloss and then a clear lip gloss put on top. Now I've got two Barry M liquid lipstick sets. 
this is the one in the colour Pose. This is a really nice colour. I actually have it on right now. So you, must, you would have seen it. And this one, which is in the colour... What colour is in that? I don't know what colour that's in, but it's a really nice dark brown colour. And it's really nice. And it also comes with the lip liners. And also, this is also another lip gloss. I have no idea where I got it from, but I got it. <laughs> it says something here. I don't know what that is, but yeah. It's like a more browny kind of um, lip gloss. And then I got this Miss Sporty Lipstick Sealer, which is really good for on top of lipsticks if you want them to last longer. It does dry out your lips and it does sting a little, but like you can deal with it. So yeah, that's my lip products. So I just took out the drawer from up here on the top left and I got these, um, what are they, the um, <laughs> eyeshadow crayon kind of things. They're from Next and there's like a white one, a pinky purple, a blue, a green and a dark brown. I did test these out, they're really nice on the eyes but like they really crease but I don't want to get rid of them because they're so nice. <laughs> I'll find a purpose for them someday. Um, that squeak is horrible. And so this drawer is actually quite some random stuff. Oh wait, no, these are eye products as well. <laughs> I guess it's not that random. I got this eyeliner from D the Dirty Works. I think it was like in a kind of calendar thing I got for Christmas. And then I got this Essence Maximum Definition Mascara. And then I got this brown eyeliner from Collection. Which is nice, and I also got this from Collection. I think is it from Collection? Yeah, it is from Collection. It's an eyeshadow pencil, and it's a really nice shimmery pink color, which I like. There. So next is my bronzer and contour stuff. So this is my Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. This is the best bronzer I've ever had and cheapest. So yeah, that's a win. And this Master Sculpt from Maybelline New York in the colour 01 Light Medium. This is a really nice shade for when I'm more tanned and bronzing. It's not really like good for contouring, it's more bronzer. And this um, highlight. How can I forget the word highlight? Everyone talks about highlight. Anyway, this highlight's really nice. It has like specks of like gold glitter in it, which is really nice. Good for like when I'm more tanned. And then I got this one which it's like coming out and I've hit pan on the highlight. It's a highlighting sculpt from Collection which is really nice and that's like the best contour I've had so far and the highlight's really nice as well. Zoella I think has talked about this once in one of her favourites videos so yeah. And this is also from Collection, it's one of the precision contouring sticks. This is a really nice shade for like um, really making like a shadow however you want. <laughs> so yeah, that's all my um, contour and stuff. I just took this drawer out and it's like my eyeshadows, but I also got this lip balm from doing that, so I'll just put that to the side. So I've got this, this is the um, eyeshadow I was talking about from Unique, which came with that primer. It's like this really sparkly um, kind of pigment, loose pigment, which is really nice for like um, putting on in, in a corner. I like. And then I got this golden kind of um, loose pigment from Dirty Works. And I'm not sure how to use this really. I might like do a Christmas makeup look with it sometime. If you want me to, comment down below if you want me to. And I've also got this lid stuff from Soap and Glory, which is my current favourite for, um, for autumn right now. It's got really nice plummy mauve kind of shades which I really like and then I got this Barry M super natural eyeshadow palette it's not really that natural because it's got um, shimmers in it and that's a bit um, wrecked but yeah I really like this palette because I really like the shimmer shades these three are like my favourite they're more like metallic ones but this one's more of a shimmery one and yeah I haven't used this one very much it's quite nice Anyway, next eyeshadow palette I got is from Makeup Revolution. This one's more of a natural one. It's only got one shimmer in it. I really want to try out Soph does nails um, 
the new eyeshadow palette. If you want, if you don't watch her, you gotta go watch her because she's like the best. And she came out with a new eyeshadow palette, and I really want to try out her eyeshadow palette. It's only ten pounds as well, and it's got like quite a lot of shades in it. So if you want me to try that out, please comment down below. And that's my whole makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe for future videos. Bye.